Throughout history, various cults have captured the attention of followers and observers alike, often promising spiritual enlightenment, communal living, and a sense of belonging. However, many of these groups have ended in tragedy, revealing the darker side of charismatic leaders and their ideologies. Here are five cults that didn't end well. Jonestown, People's Temple, 1978. Perhaps one of the most notorious cult tragedies, the Jonestown Massacre is a chilling example of the dangers of blind devotion. Led by charismatic preacher Jim Jones, the People's Temple started as a social justice movement but devolved into a cult. In 1978, over 900 members died in a mass murder-suicide in the Jonestown settlement in Guyana, following Jones's orders. The event shook the world and shed light on the potential for manipulation and abuse within such groups. Heaven's Gate, 1997, founded by Marshall Applewhite, Heaven's Gate believed that salvation lay in a spaceship trailing the hale comet. Convinced that Earth was about to be recycled, members believed they had to shed their human bodies to ascend to the spaceship. In 1997, Applewhite and 38 followers died in a mass suicide, wearing matching outfits and sneakers, which shocked the world and highlighted the dangers of extreme belief systems. Order of the Solar Temple, 1990s, this cult blended elements of Christianity, New Age philosophy and UFO beliefs. Led by Luke Schwari and Joseph V. Mumbro, the Order of the Solar Temple believed that death led to a better life on a mythical planet. Tragedy struck as members, including the leaders, committed mass suicides in various locations between 1994 and 1997, often staged as elaborate rituals. Branch Davidians, 1993, led by David Koresh, the Branch Davidians were a religious sect that branched off from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Their compound in Waco, Texas, became the site of a deadly standoff with law enforcement in 1993. The conflict ended with a fire that killed Koresh and 75 of his followers, including children. The event raised questions about government intervention and the influence of charismatic leaders. On Shinrikyo, 1995, founded by Shoko Asahara in Japan, On Shinrikyo blended Eastern spiritualism with apocalyptic beliefs. The cult gained infamy when its members carried out a deadly sarin gas attack in the Tokyo subway system in 1995, killing 13 people and injuring thousands. The incident exposed the cult's dangerous ideology and underscored the potential for violence in fringe groups. These cults serve as cautionary tales, illustrating the power of charismatic leaders to manipulate and exploit followers and the susceptibility of individuals to extreme beliefs. The tragedies associated with these groups underscore the importance of critical thinking, awareness, and understanding the potential risks of blind devotion. The stories of these cults remind us of the need to stay vigilant and educated to prevent such tragedies from recurring in the future.